Now I want to take you step by step on how to build this scoop. Now if you read uh, the paper attached to this video, um, this is not the only way you can build a mechanical arm to go on the sea perch. Um, but this is how I did it and uh, and I think it's pretty easy and useful. Anyway, it consists of a motor. If you see this motor here. And this circuit board controller. It's a servo uh, servo motor controller. And I also bought uh, 50 feet of servo wire. But any wire really will do. So first I had to construct the scoop. Um, you can see that it is, is made out of four pieces and I glued it together and I milled these slots to help with the drag. Um, you see that it's not very big and for what we're using it for it doesn't need to be very big. And after making the scoop and making it aerodynamic um, we had to attach the scoop to the motor and it's hard to see but what I've done here is use four little bolts that, uh, that uh, attach the scoop to the motor and it's pretty strong I had to drill the holes a little bigger but it works um, the next challenge is to get um, the motor mounted to something that will attach to the sea perch. So what I used is this quarter inch piece of plastic. It was just a scrap. So it didn't, all of these are scraps so it didn't cost me anything. Um, but I, I uh, cut out this, this notch for the motor to sit in just with a uh, jigsaw or a bandsaw. There's a lot of stuff you can use to, to do it. Uh, the motor came with these screws and I just uh, screwed it in and it's pretty strong. Now these bolts um, are used to attach this to the sea perch. So this will slide inside the sea perch and these attach to the uh, outside uh, PVC pipe. As you see that this is not waterproof, I'm going to waterproof it with this liquid tape and it's waterproof after applying the liquid electric tape the motor will look like this and it will all be covered and be waterproof um, when doing this um, the uh, liquid tape is really drippy and lots of fumes come off of it. So do this in a well ventilated area. So I've attached the 50 feet of wire just by splicing and uh, using electric tape and where it is underwater I use the liquid electric tape because I think it'll create a lot better seal than just electric tape alone. Now watch it move. We can change the speed. So it'll be faster. When I first put my sea perch in the water, I had the scoop connected up to the battery, the same battery that the sea perch was connected to, and it didn't end well. Um, when I tried to move the sea perch, there was too much current flowing through the wires, and the scoop didn't work. So what I had to do is hook this up to a separate battery and it worked just fine.
I hope you enjoyed building a sea perch and building a mechanical arm to retrieve objects off the bottom of the pool and hopefully you learned a lot about motors and electronics and buoyancy and overall I hope you had a lot of fun and you want to get more more involved with engineering.